Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to discuss about a new data frame operation called join. Okay, so this is the uh, video series on uh, Apache Spark uh, data frame uh, practical tutorial. So till now we have added 14 videos in this uh, uh, series. So this is going to be 15th video on this series. So I am going to explain you about how to perform a join operation on data frame. So in this video, we will start uh, with the basic join uh, inner join and also we'll understand what is a cross join or the Cartesian product. Okay, so uh, let me go through the example uh, and I explain you clearly. Okay, so let me open the example. Okay, so this is the example I taken for uh, uh, the, to perform the join operation. Okay, so uh, this is a, a SPT based Scala project. Okay, you can build using IntelliJ IDE. Uh, if you want to set up how to uh, uh, install IntelliJ and set up a, a Spark application, please watch my other videos. I explain clearly on how to set up that. Okay, so this is a SBD based Scala project. So I created a Scala uh, object class. So uh, initially I created a package. Uh, my package name is com.datamaking.apache.spark.dataframe. So I have imported the necessary uh, packages like or the classes to use it in my program okay so first thing is we have created the main uh, function uh, and inside main function we are having our spark code so you create a spark session object you, using a, a builder method and provide the properties uh, you want it here okay so then followed by i'm just setting the uh, spark session objects here log level as error okay just want to restrict the info logs so okay so if you want to perform a join right basically you need a two data frame okay we even with one data frame you can perform join which is a cross join or cartesian product but in general you you may need uh, two or more uh, data set or table if you if you look at the uh, uh, sql world the rdbms world you need a if you want to do the join so basically you need a two table right similarly we have two we need a two data frame to perform a join so uh, for simplicity sake i uh, reuse the same uh, uh, users uh, uh, data frame which we used in the previous example as a users uh, data frame which is going to act like a customer uh, data frame okay so which has a three column user id and uh, user name and user city so we we construct the uh, sequence of row object with the schema we we create a data frame so once we create the data frame so now we are going to construct the next uh, data frame okay which is like orders data frame so basically i want to uh, join between the customer uh, data set and the uh, orders data set if you look at the rdbms well customer table with the uh, customer table with the orders table right or transaction uh, the e-commerce transaction uh, table right so that's it so in this uh, uh, data set this example uh, this data set also we are familiar with because we saw the previous example for aggregation so we have a, a few columns like uh, what are the columns we have is uh, we have order id okay as a first column and uh, uh, card type product category and order amount order date time and the user id so this user id we we actually think this as a customer id right so we have we have a user data set so if you want to actually um, get a um, um, so basically if you want to do uh, aggregate uh, uh, just do the join and if you want to do aggregate so basically you need to perform the join operation right to perform a join operation there is a function called join okay so if you this is example number three so we, i will explain you what is this uh, uh, piece of code okay so you are what you are going to do is we have a order data set which is order data frame we have a customer data set or the user data set which is a users data frame so okay so first uh, data frame dot which is the orders data frame dot join of second data frame so you need to provide what is the join condition and also what is your type of join you are going to use. So basically I am saying my uh, join condition is based on the, so you can you can say that the, because the both user ID and name, column name is same in both data set, I just given the uh, user ID as uh, uh, the, the matching column and the, uh, the join type is inner join. So I am going to perform an inner join. Okay. So, and you can provide the select class. What are the columns you want to retrieve after the 
join. So it is going to do the inner join based on the user ID and it goes to return the data set. Okay, um, I'll just explain you this data set. Basically, this data set. Okay, so we have a seven distinct user, right? If you look at here, uh, user number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Seven uh, distinct user uh, or customer details are there. Okay. And we have uh, uh, 10 uh, order, uh, orders, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 orders we have, okay? So uh, so I, I, actually what I did is I uh, put um, uh, different uh, user IDs I used in the this order. Uh, people who over did the uh, purchase on the e-commerce site. So I used that user ID, which is a customer ID. Okay, few user I have not used because I want to uh, just uh, uh, do different join type of join. So I just uh, not included that. We'll, we'll come to know once we look for the outer join. Okay, so inner join, what is the inner join basically does is, so it is going to do the uh, join between these two tables based on the matching condition. Whichever the uh, user ID is matching, it is going to fetch those order details and the user details in this. Okay. So you can also provide, uh, say example, uh, if your uh, uh, join column is, uh, column name is different, okay, say both columns are, names are different, okay, basically it's values it's going to hold the same, because whenever you do join between those tables, the common uh, column you take, right, the user ID, user ID, customer ID, or transaction time, or some uh, transaction day, something like that, right. So. <coughs> So example, one table, the column name is some thought different, but you want to join with join using those columns, but the column names are different. The value is going to be same, but it, say example here, uh, I have a order, say example, order underscore user ID. If I have something like in orders data frame, if I have a orders underscore user ID, so I can, I cannot provide like uh, just one column here, right? So I need to provide specifically which, uh, this column is from which data set, right? So that for that you can use the alias. So in the join also in SQL, if people who are familiar with SQL, it is very easy. So when you want to actually say, uh, create alias for your table, you will say table name as uh, same uh, orders as O or o, o, o DTL or something you will give, right? Similarly, you can set alias here also. Say example, orders as O and join user uh, data set, data frame, dot as of you so orders uh, data frame i am considering o as a short name and for user u is a short name so in the expression uh, join expression you can provide o dot user id equal to u dot user id and join time is inner so this way also you can write inner join okay next is we want to see the understand the cross join cross join is nothing but product partition product so example from the one data set it will take each row and build the uh, it will make the corresponding combination for the uh, second table, okay? So example, we have a, uh, so I'm, I'm doing cross join on the user data sets. Generally, you do uh, cross join a Cartesian product on the same table. So user, uh, uh, but you'll do uh, uh, based on the, uh, uh, based on the scenario and requirement, it changes, but basically they do uh, cross join on the self, uh, self data frame, basically the same data frame. So you say that, so they introduced the uh, cross join method, okay. Uh, so if you are actually using, uh, we'll come to that later. So if you are doing cross join, say users, cross join of users, what will happen? In users data frame, we have seven distinct users. So for each user, it will build the combination of uh, 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 seven uh, uh, rows. So basically seven into seven, 47. Okay, so 47, uh, 49, sorry, 49. So 49 uh, uh, rows it will actually uh, build it okay so that's how it Cartesian product it will make okay. so uh, if you are actually giving similar like normal when I have you uh, specify inner join if you specify cross join actually it will ignore because the latest version of spark uh, this type of syntax it is ignoring so it will actually by default it will take inner join because this type of way like when you use the join uh, function you need to use either outer join or inner join. You cannot use uh, cross join. It will not throw error, but it will say that uh, it will work as a inner join only. It will ignore this, uh, whatever the cross you provide. Uh, that, for that, I just given this syntax. 
okay so we we saw how to use the inner join uh, by specifying the the matching column or the join columns by specifying a sequence in the sequence uh, 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 um, object okay uh, or you can actually specify the alias for your data set and provide the join expression and you provide the join type also so we saw cross join we have a cross join function um you can using that you can perform a cross join okay but if you give a regular uh, way of providing a uh, join operation okay but it will ignore this cross join so let's run this and uh, check the output so i am running on local mode basically i am running this into in the intellij ide so <clears throat> if you want to build this uh, <clears throat> sorry you want to build this project and run the, and run on the cluster mode you can very well do that you can build this uh, uh, project as a jar okay java uh, library then you can uh, using spark submit command you can submit to the cluster okay so now let's understand the, uh, the join operation this perform okay. so this is a two data set i told you know so this is the uh, user data set and this is the orders data set okay when we perform inner join okay so if you look at here um, okay i will come to this so that the second wave so so user id 1 okay and then your uh, two is having transaction and three four um, four there is there's no um, transaction um, done by the user four and even seven also one two three uh, four not there five and six is there okay so four and seven user not didn't make any transaction okay and if you see here in the uh, orders details we have a uh, orders for user id 8 and 10 but these two users are not there in the user table that's why it did not come okay right. so this is another way we saw so we fetched both the user id which is there in the uh, both the tables so we performed a cross join if you see this for one uh, combination it does build the seven okay seven so seven into seven what 49 you like 49 rows here here okay so this how the cross join works and we saw the this this the latest uh, ex the last example i showed you right if you provide a join uh, function even if you provide cross join it will not perform it will just perf perform like a inner join only right that's what i want to highlight here okay so i hope this video is helpful okay so if you have any doubt please post the uh, uh, post your uh, comments or question on the comment section of the video i will help you out you can watch actually my other videos in the uh, this uh, uh, apache spark data frame uh, practical tutorial video series and uh, please watch this um, i have many uh, playlist uh, created for different technologies like py spark and we have we have actually provided the free we are providing free vm if you need a free vm or if you don't have environment you just want to uh, uh, want to ready made vm where so that we can actually practice immediately you can send us a request uh, the link is there in this playlist you can just go and give the request and i created a, a three projects using spark so and also we have a, a video playlist for web scrapping machine learning uh, kafka tutorial is there python tutorial is there there are many videos please watch these videos and uh, provide your feedback and if you have any questions please uh, uh, send us we will help you out and also please subscribe my uh, channel and click on this bell button to get notification thank you so much friends see you in the next video